Hello dear students, today we are going to discuss composition and nutritional value of fruits and their products. The objective of this content to acquaint students with basic classification of fruits, to provide information about composition of fruits, to give the students knowledge of nutritional value of different components of fruits like water, carbohydrates, vitamins, fibers and phytochemicals. Dear students, let us start with the introduction and definition of fruit. Term fruit botanically refers to the mature ovary of a plant including its seed, seeds covering any other closely connected tissue. The fruit is the developed ripened ovary of a, or ovaries of a single flower. As related to food, fruit refers to the edible part of a plant that consists of the seeds and the surrounding tissue. Classification of fruits. Fruits can commonly be grouped into several major divisions depending principally upon botanical structure, chemical composition and climatic requirements. The major categories discussed are as follows. Climactic fruits. These fruits ripen faster after harvesting have high respiration rate, high respiration coefficient, that's volume of carbon dioxide evolved, volume of oxygen consumed, produce large ethylene and have low shelf life. Examples include peach, plum, apricot, apple, pear and mango. Non-climactic fruits. These fruits ripen at lower rate after harvesting, have lower respiration rate, low respiration coefficient and more shelf life. Examples include lemon, lime, orange and sweet lime. True fruit. These fruits are derived from the gynoecium part of the flower only. Example include tomato. False fruit. These fruits are developed from the gynoecium and other floral parts. The examples include apple and strawberry. Simple fruit. Such fruits are formed of single or syncopous ovary, that single flower. Examples include fennel and capsicum. Aggregate fruit. Such fruits develop from apocarpus gynoecium, example steranize. Composite fruit. These fruits are formed from the whole inflorescence, for example, figs, strawberry, long pepper. Berries. Berries are fruits with layers of pericarp which are often homogeneous except for the skin on the outside. The pericarp layers are pulpous and juicy and contain seeds embedded in the pulp mass. The fruits have fragile cell structure that is damaged by rough handling or freezing. For example, strawberry, raspberry, etc. Citrus fruit. These fruits belong to the genus Citrus, which contain about 16 species of evergreen aromatic shrubs and trees, mostly with thorny branches distributed throughout the tropical and subtropical regions of the world. The common citrus fruits are orange, lemon and lime. The bright color, pleasing flavor and sweetness makes them a favorite fruit. They are served as juice and can be eaten raw. Droops. Droops are edible fruits with a thin skin and juicy flesh and closing a single seed. Apricots, cherries, peaches and plums belong to this group. Melons. Melons belong to the same family as cucumbers. Melons are commonly eaten, eaten raw. Their flesh consists of about 94% water and only 5% sugars. The seeds 
stripped of their hard coats may be eaten and also yield an edible oil. Poems Poems are fruits of apple and pear trees. The receptacle surrounds the ovaries in the flower, enlarges to become edible and juicy, and encloses the cells containing the seeds. Fruits, particularly citrus varieties and guava, are a good source of vitamin C. Yellow fruits like mango and papaya contain carotene. Banana is a good source of carbohydrate and hence energy. Fruits are a poor source of protein and fat, with the exception of avocado. Fruits also contain fiber and minerals such as sodium, potassium and magnesium. Dry fruits and watermelon contribute appreciable amounts of iron. Composition and Nutritional Significance of Fruits Fruits are an important part of human diet. It has been widely reported that diets rich in fruits and vegetables reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as cancer and cardiovascular diseases. Although most of people do not consume an adequate amount of fruits and vegetables, it is interesting to note that in the United States more processed fruits and vegetables are consumed than their fresh counterparts. The primary source of vitamin A in fruits is in the form of its precursor beta carotene. The carbohydrates in fruits have a moderate energy value. Fruits contain protective vitamins and minerals and dietary fiber but very little protein. They are practically fat free except for avocado and olive, both of which contain up to 15% of fat. Like vegetables, fruits also contain dietary fiber. Various organic acids in unripe fruit produce the typical sour taste. During ripening, concentration of these acids fall and that of sugars rise. Vitamin C is present in all fresh fruits, but strawberry, citrus fruit and particularly kiwi fruit are outstanding sources of this vitamin. For example, one kiwi fruit or medium size orange supplies the normal daily requirement for adults. Apple and peach provides moderate amounts of vitamin C and can contribute substantially to the diet when consumed in sufficient quantity. Most fruits also supply varying amount of beta-carotene and B-complex vitamins. Major constituents of fruits can be categorized as water, carbohydrates, phytochemicals, protein, fiber, minerals, vitamins, water. Fruits have a high percentage of water that ranges from 80 to 95 percent of the eatable part of the fruit. They are very good source of water in the diet within the solid foods. Significance of water for human health. Water plays two fundamental roles as a nutrient, protective and regulatory, by being a substrate for biological reactions, an essential role as temperature and pH regulator in the human body. Human body has three sources of water, ingested water and beverages including fruit and juice. The water content of solid food and metabolic water. Carbohydrates After water, carbohydrates are the main component of fruits and vegetables and represent more than 90% of their dry matter. Carbohydrates present in fruits are mainly classified into three groups monosaccharides, oligosaccharides, polysaccharides. Monosaccharides. These include pentoses like arabinose, xylose and ribose and hexoses like glucose, fructose and galactose. The main monosaccharides are glucose and fructose. The concentration of monosaccharides in fruits may change depending on the degree of maturation of the fruit and ripening. The relative abundance of glucose and fructose also changes from one fruit to another. Other monosaccharides such as galactose, arabinose and xylose are present in minimal amounts in some fruits, especially orange, lemon and grapefruit. 
oligosaccharides include sucrose, maltose, lactose, raffinose and stachyose. Sucrose is the most abundant oligosaccharide in fruits. However, there are others such as maltose, millibios, raffinose or stachyose that have been described in grapes and one ketose in bananas. Polysaccharides Polysaccharides include starches composed of amylose and amylopectin, both polymers of glucose, glycogen and other polysaccharides which form part of fiber. Starch is present in very low amounts in fruits since its concentration decreases during maturation and ripening. Nutritional significance of carbohydrates in fruits Carbohydrates in fruits are the main sources of energy in the human diet. Energy derived from carbohydrates metabolism may be used directly to cover the immediate energy needs of body or be transferred into energy deposit in the body in the form of glycogen. Carbohydrates also have regulatory functions in human body. Fructose has known to increase plasma urate level due to rapid fructokinase mediated metabolism to fructose 1-phosphate. The recommended dietary allowance for carbohydrates is 130 grams per day except in pregnancy where it is 175 grams per day and during lactation it is 210 grams per day. Fiber Fiber is often referred to as unavailable carbohydrate. It includes those fruit constituents that are resistant to digestion. Fiber can be classified into water soluble and water insoluble fiber. Gums, pectins, some hemicellulose or water soluble fibers. Cellulose, hemicellulose and lignins are water insoluble fibers. Fruits are good sources of both the type of fibers. Fiber is present in fruit in amounts that be as high as 7%. Lignin is the other component that is included in most definitions of fiber but is not a carbohydrate. Nutritional significance of fiber. There are several fiber associated substances that are found in fruit fibers and have important nutritional functions that includes phytates, saponins, lectins, and enzyme inhibitors. Fruit fibers are important for human gut health. They are helpful in reduction of constipation. The RDF of fiber is 25 to 30 gram per day depending upon age and sex. In case of children from 1 to 3 year it is 19 gram per day. Pectins are important in the technological process since they are may be deeply modified and this modification not only has an influence on the nutritional value of the final food but also has an impact on the texture and palatability of the product. Fiber together with vitamins is the main nutritional reason for using fruit for a balanced diet. There are several fiber associated substances that are found in fruit fiber which may have some nutritional interest. Among them are phytates, saponins, tannins, lactins and enzyme inhibitors. Saponins which are mainly present in some tropical fruits may enhance the binding of bile acids to fiber and reduce cholesterol absorption. Tannins are polyphenolic compounds widely distributed in fruits which can bind proteins and metals and reduce their absorption. Lactins which are present in banana and some berries or glycoproteins that can bind specific sugars and affect the absorption of other nutrients. Proteins Proteins are present in fruits in low percentage that is between 0.1 to 1.5 percent. Fruits are not good sources of proteins. Among fruits, berries are the rich sources of proteins. Fat Lipids are an energy source for plants during germination forming components of cellular membranes and cuticular waxes. Lipids are mainly present as triglycerides, that is esters of glycerol and three fatty acids or phospholipids in which one fatty acid has been replaced by a phosphate group. The fat content of fruits and vegetables is usually below 1% and varies with the product. Avocado 12 to 16% olive 30 to 70 percent, grape 
0.2%, banana 0.1% and apple 0.6%. Among fruits, cherry moya has 1% fat and avocado has 12 to 16% fat content. Phytochemicals Phytochemicals are produced by plants through primary or secondary metabolism. They have biological activity in plant and play a role in plant growth and defense against pathogen. They include carotenoids, polyphenols, flavonoids, and anthocyanin. Fruits are rich sources of phytochemicals. Nutritional significance of phytochemicals. Phytochemicals are essential for human health as they have protective function against various diseases like cancer, cardiovascular diseases, asthma, and diabetes. Epidemiological studies have shown consumption of apple with reduced risk of cancer. Consumption of grapes as fresh or processed has been shown to suppress platelet aggregation, lower cholesterol in blood, and anti-carcinogenic. Citrus fruits are rich in antioxidants due to high content of vitamin C. Micronutrients Plants are good source of micronutrients which are essential part of human diet. These include vitamins, minerals, citrus fruits are rich sources of vitamin C. All fruits contain important minerals such as potassium, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, iron and zinc. Minerals are basic components in secondary metabolic pathways that produce valuable phytochemicals for normal human health. Vegetables and fruits are the main sources of vitamin A for human health. Provitamin A carotenes account for yellow, orange, red, green color in many vegetables and fruits. Dear students, this was all about today's lecture. Thank you.